Oh god. Right. Hello everybody. Um there you go. Lovely match. Thank you very much. Um Happy days. Just gonna get absolutely shat on now. And it's not even the TV difference, it's just the fact that he's got a mighty blow tackle and guard and strength and reserves and everything. Um right. So let's get Silly Billy and a wizard. And that's why I didn't buy the uh, MVP last game. Right, what's he's level nineteen though, so he might be a beginner. Four four two. Um There might be some hope here. Maybe. Maybe some hope. Has he got bank 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 bloat? Blah, 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 blah. I didn't couldn't even see that. Bank bloat. Right. Yeah. So as far as guides go, I've, I've done six racial guides out of 16 for Blood Bowl. And they're the easiest things for me to do because I don't need to think about them at all, you know? So that's pretty bad, isn't it? So I have to I have to do ten more of those. Full show. Alright, that's okay then. At least he's got some blow. And I've cheated. So he's got some blow and I I cheated some money in. So it's actually not as not as horrible a matchup as first feared. But still, it's still bad, isn't it? It's still it's still not fun to for somebody to have a mighty blow tackler. Um I guess I'll put my my players here. Doesn't really matter. He's got guards so much. I'd much rather keep my uh, mighty blow player, my actual mighty blow players alive. Since I've got the wizard, I want the edge four on defense, don't I? So yeah, this isn't as terrifying as it first seemed. He did take proper skill ups here. That's true. Well, he took dodge and a black orc, which is. No, it's a, it's a it's a decent payoff long term, isn't it? But early on, I don't think it's worth the thirty TV. Don't know what this is. Dauntless, so I would say that's not a proper skill. Up. Um. So yeah, it's not so bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's like. Mighty Blow Tackle for Orcs, like they get it sooner than most people, don't they? Obviously not, uh, not, not Chaos Dwarf, but Block Tackle Mighty Blow is, um, is not what you want to see staring across from them, is it? Um, so yeah, I've got to do setups. I've got setups for the Blood Bowl. For Cross Out, I've got Building, Basic Frame, Connection Points. And the most important thing for beginners to, is to be able to win at medium raids, I guess. To use the free fuel to get... To win medium raids. Oh, that's a good start. Yeah, it was really slow, but still. Yeah, exactly, because it's hard. It's harder for the dwarves to apply their block tackle mighty blow. Um, but yeah, obviously, yeah, the faster ones are. Particularly humans, but even then, the humans... They're weak, so you can outmuscle them the way you can with dwarves as well a lot of the time. But then orcs, orcs before they get tackling might be or, or weak source. Oh, there you go. There you go. Turn one removal. I can't even nap all that because he's got mighty blow. Just anybody having mighty blow just just so annoying, isn't it? Tried to keep the TV as low as I could. Maybe I should have sacked the uh, the sidestep skink. But then, plus the way this TV plus matching works, I'm I'm just going to be down TV every match now, and they're going to have mighty blow tackle. It's just it's just draining, isn't it? As somebody as somebody wrote on um on Reddit, funnily enough, the more I play Blood Bowl, the less I want to play it. I'm getting back to how I was before I stopped. <laughs> um, yeah, there was somebody. Somebody wrote on Reddit, playing down TV. And then, as they said... 
Yeah, the matchups are designed this way. No idea why, because it's a truly terrible system. Um, a normal TV team with a good win record will face a succession of high TV teams with a not great win record. The game then is not about trying to better an opponent of equal skill, but dodge the killer teams played by people more interested in naming your team and winning the game. The designers really do not think about it at all. Yeah, and that's the thing, isn't it? It's just they don't. Um, they don't do that. No, I don't have. No, this is this is just what I'm thinking. What? Because to do the to do the cross out stuff, I need to actually think about what to put on. Whereas Blood Bowl, I didn't need to think about it because you know I and didn't need to think about the racial guides. Um, yeah, that's tr well. Yeah, to be fair, to be fair, I've said this, I've said this myself a lot. Um, it doesn't really matter what matching they use. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have faced him. It doesn't really matter too much what matching they use because it's the number of players is the main thing, isn't it? It's not even each team's chances to win. It's it's a match. It's a system whereby you can't predict the winner of a match. Which is just it's just is so moronic it's beyond words, isn't it? And come around and hit that skink, but at least he can't hit mine. Maybe I could have fireballed there. I wanna maybe it's fireball next turn or next turn. That's why I thought I've done the old half mans, but one's at least got stand firm and guard. Um, yeah, that's true. That's true, soul baby. There. Well, they they've got a choice in how they match, but yeah, it doesn't help though, does it? You know, there's already not a lot of people spinning, and then the fact that there's a disadvantage if you've won a lot of games, it just makes it really fucking horrible because you're that much more likely to get an even more unfair matchup. Um, no, matchmaking is not just on TV. You get, well, it, it does, it, it's not just on TV. The matchmaking is wins minus losses count for 50 TV. So if you've like won one, lost three, you take 150 TV off your, off your, off your TV. But it doesn't, there's a maximum difference of 500 real TV. So, it's, it doesn't have that much impact, really. But, obviously, it has some impact. And it does make it a, that much harder. When you're already getting... You're already going to tend to get unfair matchups, aren't you? Um, either way. E either up or down. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm not one of these people who's like, rah, 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 I'm so unlucky. But, either up or down, there's always going to be... There's always going to be fucking bad matches... Just the amount of people looking for a game. Yeah, that, that's the that's the worst thing. Is progression matchmaking is the worst thing. Yeah. It it's only gonna be a factor when there's more than more more than one match to be made. And every time there's more than one match to be made. The, the person who wins the more is going to get that that much worse a match, aren't they? Exactly, Master X. Exactly. Like, I should just post that fucking game against that Chorf guy and then say, this is exactly why you don't need the matchmaking equaliser for band players. Of course. Right, it could fireball these, couldn't it? It's just the rest of my guys aren't... I don't even have any guys to take advantage of that KO. Really. Yeah, that's can surf, though, potentially.
I might as well blitz her. Blitz the blitzer. <laughs> Only because I got mighty blow. I guess it's worth making him block him, isn't it? Takes two players action. No, but. <laughs> No, no, the roles aren't influenced by TV, but the fact that the game is so random means that any effort to, to you know, match, to make fucking harder to determine win results is not needed, is it? Because just random fucking things happen every single game. Like, you know, you just, it doesn't matter how good you are, you can't win them all because shit happens, doesn't it? You know, double, double quad skulls happen. Double ones happen. Exactly. Well, Hellboy, to me, the only the only solution to the matchmaking situation, the only solution that I can think of is you have the challenge system from Fumble, you know, ranked, where you, and Blood Bowl 1, where you just have, like, you know, looking for, spinning for a game, or, no, not spinning for a game, like, looking for a game, agree to play people in chat. And then, like, you know, look for game or whatever. Like, some kind of system. Fumble's got one way. You like, you know, you mark which teams are looking for a game. And then the other people. And then you both agree to play the game. And then you play a game that you've both consented to. So, so I would have that for progression. And then for matchmaking, I would have no progression. And I would just have every team be 1,200 or whatever. 1,200 TV. 1,220 TV fee, whatever. Or more, more if you want. Because you're not limited to playing tabletop rules, um, and then, and then that's the matchmaking, you know. And it, then the matchmaking is always fair. Then you can match by record. Nothing's happened. You made. I've been playing Blue Bowl for a, for a, well, not a week, a few days. I'm, I never. I, I always said I'd be back. It was never. It was never. A, it was never going to be a permanent permanent thing. <laughs> Thank you, you may make a pickers league. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? It's a good idea, though, because like, you know, what drives away new players? Getting fucked on by Clawpon is is a big thing that drives away new players. So straight away, you don't want new players to get fucked on Claw by Clawpon. How do you stop new players getting fucked on by Clawpon? By letting them choose to not play against it. Um, ah, glorious. Less than three, less than three, less than three, fast store. <laughs> less, less than three, less than three. <laughs> Thank you very much, The Waitrix, for the, the less than three hype. <laughs> Thank you very much for the resub. Um, he's movement seven, silly Billy. So, um, he's pretty good. Um... I don't want him to be blitzed by him uh, or him, but then I want him to be here. I'm going to have to block the uh, troll, expose him, aren't I? And then do him last. And even then, probably no GFIs, could just base him. Not that it matters, and so don't base him, just come back. Uh, 
and he can't do anything. In fact, it's being right back. So sure, it gets him off the sideline, but I think it's all right. Thank you for staying fantastic anyway, the Waitrix or Thor, however you want. Thank you very much. To a mad radio. That's true arrested development, but it only happens once, doesn't it? That that's my point. It only happens once. If or people I like five hundred T V down. That they're the two things. Five hundred T V down and Claw Pond. They're the two things that fuck off new players. And the other thing is them being bad and thinking they're lucky. They're unlucky, but you can't really stop that, can you? Oh. And the other thing is just actually being unlucky. On on unlike the amazing chance that they do they do the right things. They could just be unlucky anyway. They could be genuinely unlucky. But it's just really like, you know, what what always happens is people complain that they um yeah, that's very true, Solby. That's very true. But still, you still want it to appeal to 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 more than the people it already appeals to, don't you? That's the thing. Um, there you go. Straight apple fail. Fucking. I think I've only failed apple rolls with this team because I've used them on KOs and badly hurts, and I think I've used them on three perms, and I think every everyone's failed. I think every every apple has failed. And like may maybe I roll badly hurt on ones that are already badly hurt, but even then I'm not sure that I have. Oh, just dodging away, he loves it. Um <laughs> Nothing you run out of time, yeah. I'm just trying it's just a reminder to myself as well to be fair Pedro to like explain things because that, that I used to explain things didn't I and then lately I haven't I can bolt him there can't I and pick it up but then where do I go after I pick it up one two three four five six seven eight nowhere who taught you how to do that no one <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? Two dice the ball with two GF guys. Guess that's worth it, eh? Never know. Could be, could get lucky. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hand off. Pretty rough. Can't can't deal with this tackle guy. Double GFI to tie him up. No rerolls. Fucking goal. It means he can surf me as well, but I mean, if he tries to surf, he's being a bit stupid, isn't he? Oh baby, no rerolls allowed then either. So that was that was hairy. block though, do I, with him? I guess I could go there. This is a one, isn't it?
Maybe I'll go for that. <laughs> that would be impressive. I don't want to go for the recovery this turn. Just go to have it use dodge. Ah, gone. Yeah, but I actually looked at the clock that turn. <laughs> I'm so used to, like, not explaining stuff anymore, and therefore not having to look at the clock. But, um... My thought process, isn't it? That's what I'm explaining, yes. I knew I was explaining something. When's Albion? <laughs> no Albion. Yeah, because he couldn't get free, could he? That was the thing. If if the edge four could have picked it up and got free, I would have put him in harm's way. But um, That's, that's yeah that's the thing but I used to I used to do it though didn't I that's the thing I used to do it so I want to do it again and uh, what do I do about this then do I even go for the ball or just go for the serve Hard to go for the surf. He could run around here, he could blitz him, go there, then he'd be four, five, six, he'd be three, four, five, push him to here, then he surfs him. But then he's on the sideline and there's no one to protect him. What about this? Double G5 from Alona, or dodge G5 from Alona, and that pushes him to there. Then he goes there, then he surf, blitzes to surf. I think it's probably better to do this block just because it's good, then, isn't it? Follow that protects him, although it, although it lets him pick up the ball. Uncontested. Well, I say uncontested. There's a skink, a sidestep skink facing the ball. Getting the surf is good, isn't it? Oh, silly Billy's free as well. The well, thing is, though, Ducky. Removals are like the worst thing for the game. Fucking dodge doing stuff, fuck off. Removals are like the absolute worst fucking thing that happens is like a dumb removal or like loads of removals. So I'd be okay with 
toning down. Because it's just so, it's so random. That's the thing, isn't it? Removals are so fucking random. So, removals are an important balance factor. It's such a bad balance factor because there's so many, there's so many games where armor seven doesn't break, and there's, there's so it's not, it's not balanced by removals, is it? It's balanced by armor value. That's the thing. It's balanced by armor value, and the games where armor seven doesn't break are fucking dumb, and 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 the games where armor nine breaks a lot are fucking dumb. So, if you tone down removals, oh shit, then um, straight away it's, uh, yeah, you need a complete overhaul, really. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty funny, Arrested Development, yeah. Yeah, it's exactly, exactly so, baby. So that means you've got to, um, yeah, you'd have to, I said that, you'd have to tone down elves somehow, wouldn't you? And then make removals. Tone down removals. He did have block and I didn't, that's true. That's true. I couldn't actually choose block because it's agility access only. So but there you go, you know. No, it's not that's not the only way. There's plenty of things that aren't as dicey as Blood Bowl, is there? You know, there's there's plenty of things that aren't this dicey. The, the, what you're doing there, Soul Baby, is your 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 um you're, you're veering towards the, uh, it's, you could play a chess argument. Veering towards it. I know you're not saying it, but you're, you're veering towards it. Just because we can't have it be chess, <laughs> or whatever, you know what I mean? It, I'm, I'm fine with there being randomness and dice in it, but it just doesn't have to be so random and so dicey, does it? That's the thing. That's all. I could base the ball here. Blitz him though and get in front and then move him around. It's maybe better, isn't it? Screen off the edge guy. Yeah, that that's the thing exactly, Ducky. Yeah, of course. You know, it, you could you could argue that um, the armor values do balance things in the long term, but the problem, and you know, in the long term, Voodoo Mike's TV Plus is you know does homogenize the records, but that's not good, is it? Like on a match level, it's not good, and that's the that's the thing. It's the match level things yes exactly soul baby yeah exactly it would it would it would take a lot of things yeah 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 i'm not saying i'm not saying you were trying to say that i'm just saying that it's um that it was going towards that you know but yeah so like Yeah. How long did it fucking heat wave? No. <laughs> yeah, it would take a big overhaul to make it. Well, not to make it. No, you could make it less random without overhauling a lot of factors. But it, if you just changed one or two things, it would grossly imbalance it. Or just change the gross imbalance. And people don't like changing the gross imbalance. Because people are fine with war dancers being ridiculous. You know? People are fine with war dancers being completely fucking balls out, fucking broken, you know? People are fine with that. Um, I hate that too, T-Self, but it's it gives the illusion of competitive matches, doesn't it? Um, it gives the illusion of competitive ma matches. Um... 
that's that's the thing you know like ideally for example in what's it called cross out you would like every team to have equal power scores wouldn't you <laughs> but apparently that's not good enough that's not good enough for voodoo mike we can't just have equal teams we can't have equal fucking team strength we've got to take fucking player skill into account as well for some fucking reason but um exactly pedro exactly yeah exactly um everyone's fine with that though everyone's fine with like dark elves in general wood elves in general skaven in general people are fine with that they're fine with the status quo but if you suggest that it should be a little bit less random oh, play chess then rah, 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 and all this shit i can't believe he just made that fucking dodge by the way motherfucker it was a good play to try for it but i'm just pissed off that he fucking made it um One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. So it just could just minus two dice push him. Could go for a, a three plus dodge out to one dice him. Or I could just bolt him. If I bolt him, I could still score myself. Potentially. Block this guy, blitz this guy, hand off. I think I have to. I just have to stop the touchdown, don't I? I literally have to. I would have. I would have rather scored, but I have to stop the touchdown. Oh god, that was pretty good. All right. So he bl blitzes him. The only problem is the fucking one dice is involved, isn't it? He could one dice and push him. Or power him. KO him. Right. And then he can blitz him. Push him to there. And then base him. And now there's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. Just gone over this way. Fuck. Oh, shit. Right, so now he can only base, he's the only one who can blitz. He can base him. Then I could two dice him. But then if I get a push, he could blitz him. Just past turn, eh? But yeah, maybe I should have gone that way. If I'd gone that way, I would have just needed him out to stop it, wouldn't I? Fuck. I mean, he can only base, though. So there is that. Oh, he's just going to surf instead. All right, that's good. He's not even going to surf. Oh, shit, he is. Oh. 
Lizard men magic, yeah. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Oh, he's just blitzing him. <laughs> and he got the power as well. What a shit. Does a one die surf just so he can blitz that guy. And don't miss him. Maybe I shouldn't have made those GFIs. Oh, he's fouling with a guard guy. Because <laughs> he can, probably can't believe what just happened. <laughs> he probably just can't believe that fucking. But I can't. I can't believe it. To be fair, but only one chance at the KOs, and the fucking apple failed. But did have a reserve, didn't I, with getting silly buggy. I was on the school team for chess, Jaleel, but um, but what happened was, and I, I never knew how to play properly. Um, never ever knew how to play properly, and there's absolutely talent. There's definitely talent because I get 40k and blood ball, and my friend, who is super intelligent, just doesn't get Blood Bone, doesn't get 40k, doesn't get L5R, so there's definitely some talent involved. Um, but yeah, I never learned how to play chess. I just, you know, did it by, uh, you know, like when I say learn, you know, there's, there's fucking a million things and everything, isn't there? There's a lot of hard work to be the best, yeah. 10,000 hours is the thing, isn't it? To be, to be good at something, an expert at something. Is what people say. Wow, he's wants everybody to get knocked over. That's that's good of him. Isn't it? Um, let's not tell that aptitude. <laughs> well, I think that's splitting hairs. <laughs> I wasn't. I was. You know. I never learned how to play properly. We just. We just played. We played some chess and that at school, and um, I guess go block against him. Eh? He blocks him. He blocks him. Oh, and then silly Billy doesn't get the block. Silly Billy blitzes. He blocks him with mighty blow. These block last. He blitzes this lineman. I guess. Yeah. Exactly, Jelly. That's true. That's true, but I never did any of that. You know, like you know, like how you've got beginner chess and end game chess, and they're two completely different games. I didn't even want to play the um, the fucking completely different game. I quite like it when two people are shit and they just fucking you know try and make the best turn each move, best move each turn, and think you know one or two turns ahead or whatever. You know, I quite like I quite like that kind of chess, and I didn't want to I didn't want to learn how to do it properly. But um, yeah, it was funny. Our school team, and we played like this, this team of grown-ups, and uh, it was pretty humiliating because we got fucking banged on. Should have taken block. Free advice, buddy. Take block, not dodge. It's just better. It's just fucking better, isn't it? Let's be honest. Concede. Boomers follower. Oh yeah. What a difference, eh? I take four Kaz in four turns, and, <laughs> and my opponent scrapes a draw. <laughs> he takes <laughs> he takes a lightning bolt to the face, and one Kaz, and then like, nah, I can't do anything. Nice. Well, there you go. That was that nightmare scenario negotiated. Oh, and uh, skill on the Saurus. 
and a skill on the Saurus. Fantastic. We both got five AV breaks. But yeah, I guess I got really lucky with two cars and two KO from five armor breaks. And now the Crocs is back. Oh, but he's he's dead, isn't he? Oh, shit. But I can just buy a new one. All right, good. <sighs> right. N nearly out of this loner mess. <laughs> right, he's just going to take block, unless he rolls double six. No. And now it's tackle or frenzy. It's got to be tackle first, I think, and then frenzy on the second one. Because just you just need tackle sometimes, don't you? And while frenzy's amazing, and you want frenzy, you need tackle sometimes. Um, so there you go. Right, that was very that was a very successful little game, wasn't it? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.